Hey, what's going on everyone? Merrick Codex here, bringing you a video on why I think Red Dead Online is fundamentally broken and dying. Now before I continue this video, I'd like you all to know that I'll be live streaming on Twitch every night at twitch.tv slash Merrick Codex, link in the description below. And remember, if you enjoy this video, definitely smack that like and subscribe, or caress it gently. You know, show it some love, since... People tend to abuse it a little too much. First and foremost, I think we should all acknowledge uh, the elephant in the room and uh, discuss the fact that maybe, just maybe, the servers might be a little broken. But you know, you go to the forums, the community page, whatever, and they tell you, oh, try to port forward this. Maybe it's your ISP. Maybe it's your router. Maybe it's your console. Oh, I don't know. Maybe it's the servers. Because I'm not having the same issue on GTA. And how about that ever-looming error message that we all see that acknowledges the fact that there's something wrong happening on Rockstar's end, but we still get redirected to ISP issues or port forwarding. You know, that one fantastic error. Stady, can we toss that in during post? Yeah, bro, you're good. All right, awesome. Seriously, like just last night, I was live streaming with a few people, and I don't think... Even a few minutes went by, and people were just getting disconnected, left and right. Just smacked down. All trying to have a little bit of fun, enjoy themselves. And suddenly, flashbacks of high school when I asked that girl out to prom. Like seriously, it got to a point where everybody was just dropping like flies. And I don't mean that in the sense of, like, somebody going off on a tonic-fueled Deadeye Massacre. Shortly after, we were getting some commentary in the quad stream of people getting dropped, not being able to connect, and just being stuck at the black screen of Doom. And at some point, one of the streamers that I was rolling with got disconnected from the server, dropped from the game, and wasn't able to reconnect for some time. But who knows? Maybe it is on the fault of us gamers. Maybe it is on the fault of our few hundred dollar routers. Maybe it is on the fault that we don't know how to port forward after looking at step-by-step -step instructions on the YouTubes and on the forums. But then, once we're at our lowest and our darkest point in our gaming, you know, that point where we feel like we should be listening to Hawthorne Heights in a dark corner, suddenly, a moment of salvation, a bright light at the end of the tunnel, we can connect once more. And then... lag. Unfortunately for us, this isn't any normal lag. This is lag of a new breed. A lag developed by scientists, mutated and modified and sent out against humanity. Let me just paint a picture for you. So, you're running around, you got your bolt action or your varmint rifle, you know, whatever you see fit, and you see somebody in front of you and you decide that, hey, I'm gonna drop this person. So, you know, you line up your shot and everything and you tag them, you get the hit marker and you see them drop. But then, you know, a few seconds later, they rise from the dead, like Jesus himself. Except this time, he's coming back with a vengeance. And a couple bullets, with your name on them. But once you finally get past all of the connection issues, and the lag, and finally get into the game, you still have to deal with players dropping, and the auto-balance in PvP. The auto-balance is so horrendous. Though I suppose it's something that us gamers have to endure. It's a necessary evil in all online games. Until it separates you from your party. You know, you're exploring with your posse on Red Dead Online. You decide that maybe you guys want to just roll out on some PvP. But in the last few seconds before the game starts, you realize that your closest friends are now your worst enemies. Which wouldn't be so terrible, except for the fact that it seems like all these perks aren't very well balanced, at least in my opinion. And for new players that might want to hang out and shoot some baddies with their party and learn the game, it might be quite difficult, especially since they're going to be separated from their party while being matched against people of higher levels with all these fantastically broken perk cards. And maybe I'm just speaking from the perspective of somebody that's only now trying to get back into the game after not playing it since the beta. But I can't say much has changed, aside from maybe a new mission or two online, maybe a slight adjustment in the payout and the experience system, but it's still, at its core, feels quite broken, just as broken broken as I remember playing it many months ago. Speaking of many months ago, where the heck is the new content? No seriously, somebody, please. I'm still dragging my hindquarters around hunting and fishing and occasionally going into PvP, but still trying to avoid PvP because that on its own is a monster I do not want to deal with. I've been hearing rumors of being able to rob the general store, of heists, of properties, even of roleplay, and I'm quite 
intrigued because generally I don't enjoy PvP all that much, all the time at least. All I've been seeing is Rockstar drip feeding us content in hopes to subdue the masses in some way, shape, or form so we don't get outraged about not having our heists. And personally, I don't want 37 new outfits. I want something to do. I don't want to run around trying to dress up like a working lady opening my own brothel because, you know, that's something people do, right? Aside from the poker, I want content, darn it! Because at this point, at this very moment, there's nothing to do except explore an already explored area, change your outfit, name your horse something random like Search Rots a lot. But what else is there to catch my attention? At this point, I think I'm just gonna go back to playing Elmo's Alphabet Adventure.